This is Akashwani. The news read by Hage Ani. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will release the 17th installment of Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi amounting to more than 20,000 crore rupees to around 9.26 crore beneficiary farmers through direct benefit transfer today. So far, more than 11 crore eligible farmer families have received benefits of more than 3 lakh 4,000 crore rupees under PM Kisan scheme. During the event, the Prime Minister will also grant certificates to more than 30,000 women from self-help groups as Krishi Sakhis. This certification course also aligns with the objectives of the Lakhpati Didi program. During his uh, Varanasi visit today, he will participate in PM Kisan Samman Samilan. The Prime Minister will depart for Bihar tomorrow. Akashwani correspondent reports that this is the first visit of Mr. Modi to Varanasi after being sworn in as Prime Minister for the third time. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will participate in the 10th International Day of Yoga Celebration in Srinagar on the 21st of this month. This year's International Day of Yoga theme is Yoga for Self and Society. Addressing media in New Delhi today, Union Ayush Minister Pratap Rao Jadav emphasized that this year's theme highlights yoga's dual role in fostering individual and societal well-being. He said yoga nurtures physical, mental and spiritual growth while promoting societal harmony. The minister added that the enthusiastic participation of millions in recent years reflects the profound impact of yoga on communities. On the occasion, Mr. Jadav launched a common yoga protocol book in Braille script to support visually impaired people to learn and practice yoga with convenience. With a view to boost innovation to transform rural life and herald digital inclusion, the central government has uh, invited proposals for 5G intelligent village and a quantum encryption algorithm. Industry, MSMEs, startups, academia and government departments involved in technology design, development and commercialization of telecommunication products and solutions have been invited to participate. The 5G Intelligent Village initiative underscores the need for equitable technological advancement by harnessing the transformative power of 5G technology to uplift the rural communities. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval chaired the second meeting of the U.S.-India Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technology, ICET, with his United States counterpart Jake Sullivan in New Delhi. During the second ICET meeting yesterday, Mr. Doval and Mr. Sullivan set the vision for the next chapter of the Strategic Technology Partnership. The White House said both sides underscored their commitment to orienting the cooperation around breakthrough achievements in priority critical and emerging technology areas by focusing on co-production, co-development and research and development opportunities and enhancing coordination with like-minded nations to deliver secure, reliable and cost-competitive technology solutions for the American and Indian people and partners around the world. They welcomed the inaugural meeting of the U.S.-India ROK Trilateral Technology Dialogue held in Seoul in March and ongoing cooperation with Australia and Japan through the Quad. Incessant rain continues in Arunachal Pradesh. Road blockages have been reported from many interior places due to landslide and flash floods caused by heavy rain. In the Papampare district, there are reports of huge traffic jam at Doimukh area due to blockage of road at Chiputa village, where commuters are left stranded since this morning. India Med Department has issued red alert for two districts, Papumpare and Kurunkume. It has also issued orange alerts for nine districts and rest are marked in yellow category. In a major relief from the ongoing heat wave, India Med Department has forecast heat wave conditions to abate in pockets of northwest and East India from today. Talking to Akashwani News, IMD scientist Soma Sen Roy said that under the western disturbance parts of Punjab and Haryana will cool down today with possibility of thunderstorms. Globally acclaimed filmmaker Vinod Ganatra has become the first Indian to, to be conferred the prestigious Nelson Mandela Lifetime Achievement Award of South Africa for his contribution to films. He was honored with the coveted award at the ongoing 7th Nelson Mandela Children's Film Festival for his immense contributions to the world of cinema for kids. Ganatra has backed 36 national and international awards including the Janakinath Gore Award from Doordarshan for his children's program, Bengan Raja. He became the only Indian filmmaker to receive the Liv Ullman Peace Prize in Chicago for his Gujarati film, Harun Arun. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.